Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about crosstalk artifacts. And in order to understand this, we need to understand how slice angulation actually plays a role in our overall image. Now commonly when we're doing a lumbar image, and a lumbar MRI image, or a set of images, primarily on our axial oblique images, we run into the problem that we need to angle our slices through the intervertebral disc spaces. And when we do that, we might actually have some issues with our slices overlapping. And how this works and what's actually happening is when we acquire information from one disc, we take those hydrogen, excite them to with an RF pulse, and tilt them to the transverse plane. So we do that for this slab of, of protons. Then I move on to this next slab, and I excite them, and take those hydrogen, tilt them to the transverse plane. But the problem is there's been hydrogen from this slice that have already been excited. And so they've been excited, and when they receive the second RF pulse, they get suppressed from our image. So we actually can't see them well in our image. On our axial set of images then, we'll see this dark line across our image where those slices overlapped. Typically, if they're not overlapping any structures of interest in our image, we don't really care too much about it. But what we can do to remedy this, uh, you know, a few things we can do is just possibly angle our slices a little bit less steep and move this artifact out further. Another thing we can do is run these as individual sets of images. I can run this set as a slab, get it, acquire some images, now run another sequence with this uh, set of images here, this slab, acquire those, those images, look at those images, and I won't have that artifact on my image if I do it that way. All right, so that's essentially cross-talk artifact. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.